think. Oh, I can't do supers, I've only got one hand. I slip out. Whoop. Hey everybody, I slip here and I'm going to be doing a pretty cool review on a pretty cool looking toy which I haven't actually taken out of packaging yet. Um, there are five of them in their respective packagings. If they kind of look familiar that's because they are downsized knockoff generation one Predacons. To form the Mighty Predaking. And they come in a giant circular package, which the seller cut down to put in this box here. This box. Um, so, yeah, let's uh, get them out of their packaging. All right, and here they are out of their packaging. And the colors are a little funky, but for some reason, kind of work. Um, for these three figures, it looks like they just kind of reversed. The, um, the actual colors and yeah before I go any further this is to give you a, an idea of how undersized this figure actually is figures and the, 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 the plastic feels to be honest with you it feels like um, full of Cybertron plastic actually it feels better than full of Cybertron plastic now here we have I believe it's headstrong, right? Yeah, tantrum's a bull. Headstrong. Yeah, headstrong. And you can see how much bigger. This is the actual G1 plastic one. This is the undersized figure. And uh, I don't even know. It's not half size, but it's smaller. But it looks cool. And I can already see there's been some changes with how it's been made. But it looks all right. I wish it would have painted the eye better. This is a little dot instead of this, you know, whole thing. But you can see the colors are basically reversed. And there is some remolding because this is different than over here. Um, but you can see this is red with silver. This is yellow with silver. Um, well, no, not all of it's been like the faces only certain parts are reverse colored otherwise it's about the same so yeah they all come in these little cards with these little stickers which I'm gonna have to put on eventually but right now they're not going on because I don't have the time to put them on before I finish this review and the instructions are on the back of the card we'll see if we can focus yet on the back of the card now it's telling you you can rotate um, rotate the legs around at the waist at the moment you can't they're really tight I may have to open them I don't know if there's um, when they were painting them maybe the paint stuck and I don't know what it is but I don't want to take the chance of ruining them so I'm going to I'll probably do an update later on but I'm just going to do them as they are and they all come with uh, these undersized bits for the um, the Infinity Warfare set the sword and it's really cool actually I mean it's it's small it's not gonna fit in any of the Transformers hands I have because these pegs are just too small but it's just nice that they come with you know it's a little simplified but you know you can go ahead and make the giant sword just peg these together <laughs> I'm not going to peg them too hard because I'm going to be able to take them back out because they're really tight. And let's see. Tantrum has the other ones on his hips. I think I took the middle of the sword off of Rampage? Rampage, yeah. Ooh, 
used to be my favorite of the Predacons for some reason. Rampage and Dive Bomb were my favorites. And then the rest I was like, eh, whatever. I'll just stick that in. Uh, let's... Eek. Okay, there we go. And then... This one, like... Uh, uh, so... And, yeah, I mean... Okay, this thing is way smaller. This thing is about as long as one of the pieces... Uh, just slightly longer than one of the pieces of the actual original sword. And then you just take, um... The various bits. Now you can see, he's got... Oops. He's got Predaking's knuckle things here. Uh, unfortunately, this set doesn't come with any Predaking hands. You end up using the knuckles as the Predaking hands. So... But these feel decent. They do. Let's see. Is there any other bits? Yeah. And then this is the last bits from the Infinity Warfare set. And I can see what they did. They took. Oh. Oh, awesome. Look. This even comes apart. That's awesome. You have no idea how awesome this is. Ouch. Take them apart, and we can use these bits to form giant Predakings. Well, these would actually go like so on Razor Claw's back or something, so that it would form Predakings antenna thingies. But take like that and stick it here, and then this has a peg so it can hold on right there so that would hold on to the sword like so so and then you can just have each one of them holding the individual swords as their weapons and no guns but you can kind of you know make guns out of these things but we're not gonna we're just gonna put this together like so we'll take the hand off and we're gonna put it to the side for now because we're gonna concentrate on the actual figures and this video is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. It really is. Oh, let's get you out of the way. And let's see. We will start with this guy. So we will take this bit off. And now um, the animal modes look great. The uh, robot modes, um, yeah, you'll see. So we'll take these and fold them down. And then we'll take this and fold it up and I guess we're pulling this out uh, uh, there we go and then these will fold up like so instead of yeah and you will take these and unpeg them Ugh. okay we'll unpeg this arm we'll just do one arm because I, I don't want to break it but there's one arm, and then you just rotate it around, and there's his head. It's inside of... Yeah, it's a little weird looking. I'm not going to lie, it's a little weird looking. I don't know why, but I want to get that out. Eee! Okay, it's stuck in there. But yeah. So, our articulation is basically the same as the original... Hold on one second. Uh, here is the original, much taller version. Uh, let's see, I think I got that wrong. There we go. And um, he has a head rotation, actually, which the original doesn't have. The original just kind of, yeah. Um, let's see. There's no leg articulation, but, you know, neither did the original have it. The original can do this and had a, you know, double arm there. This guy has a bull joint. He's got two bull joints, so he can do a lot more. It's like, I'll get you for crippling my arm. Oh, darn you, KO makers. And, yeah, and, and you can see, well, that actually, that's kind of weird, actually. This is actually the front right here. So... Yeah. 
And that looks even weirder than the other way around, but that's the front, and he's got these feet that don't fold in where they're supposed to because it's a KO. So, um, well, either or works, either or works. That would, I guess, would be a heel to keep him from tipping backwards, but now he's tipping forwards. So, we'll get him out of the way, and that's the only, uh, comparison shot I can do with the original, because I don't have any other of the Predacons yet. So here's a Tantrum. I was going to say horrible. Um, ouch. And he can be a bull or a buffalo. Apparently it depends on how you have the head situated. Uh, guess if it's down or something, it's a bull and it's a buffalo. And if it's up like this, it's a bull. Don't really care. But, here's his main weapon, which is, whoops, let's go like that, and fix my camera, because it's starting to tip, it's starting to fall. Oh my god, my camera's drunk. It's so drunk, I don't know what's going on. Shouldn't have had that Irish coffee this morning. Yeah, that was my horrible, horrible, um, yeah, so anyway, here we go. And so he's got the, the foot of Predaking, one of the feet. It just plugs up there, and I'm really happy with this quality. I mean, it feels solid. It doesn't feel like crap. So this is like the old days when I was a kid. They made stuff that didn't feel like crap. That mean it wasn't, but anyway, we're going to transform them. This flips up here. And why does it look like his chesting flips down? Do you flip down? Are you supposed to flip down? I don't know, and I'm not going to try to force it. So we'll do that. No. Pull! Hold on. Pull. Oh my god, this thing is so stiff. So, and then flip up the feet. We're doing the same thing. This It's pretty much the same exact transformation as, um, as a uh, tantrum. Ugh. Arms don't want to come out. Man, they're stuck in there really good. Okay. Okay, and I have pulled his arm off. It's on a ball joint, but... Um, I have to figure out how to get that bulge right now so I can attach it again. And it's really stiff. Oh my god. It's so stiff. So, put that back on. And then I just wiggle it like this. Wiggle it just a little bit. Ugh. Wiggle it just a little bit. Ugh. And I almost... There we go. Ah... Okay, now I'm guessing that would be, if it's anything like uh, Tantrum, this is the way it would go. And normally the feet would slide in there and they knees would flip around the back, but we're just going to rotate them around and pretend that this is the front. And yes, he's got the head inside. Um, yeah, so he looks pretty cool, and his arms are stiff. They're on a bull joint, so you get a lot of movement and stuff, and he can... Hold the little swords, or he can hold the giant sword if you want him to. Just stick that in there, and there he's got that. Um, I guess you could kind of make guns if you wanted to. You just separate, oops, separate these things, and just you know put them like this, and put them like put them like this, and you know pew pew pew. But you know whatever. That's childish. We're not going to do childish things. Look, it says the man playing with the toys. So, anyway. Yeah, that's that. Let's put this down. And next we will go with the bird dude. Dive Bomb. And I used to love this guy. And he doesn't have much in the way of articulation, but... He was still cool. He was like... Oh! And just, I don't know, things with wings just were cool to me. <clears throat> Incidentally, this guy was the was actually created by the guy who um, made the um, the mech, or the robos, or the megazords, if you will, for the Sentai series. Well, one of the guys. So, yeah, that's why he doesn't quite look or feel like the other Transformers Gestalt. So he's got little birdie toes. He can fly around. His arms don't actually go in his body. I don't think they're on a... They're not on a ball joint. They just rotate. They're a little stumpy, but that's okay. 
So we'll get him into his robot mode. We'll flip his arms, his head up like that. You can see his head is right there. Flip that like that. These go in here, and then you just flip this around. It's basically the same as the the Generation One. Um, and then you just tip, flip these down, and you give him a weapon, and he's good to go. Now he's a little back heavy, and he doesn't really have heals, so he looks a little goofy compared to his Generation One self. I guess because his arms are so stumpy. But he's pretty cool, and he's got decent articulation. His legs go forward, go back, bend at the knee. I mean, you can't really do anything with that, but... And, I mean, I think part of it is because his head folds up like this instead of being where it's supposed to be. Um, his wings, you can do that. You can also do this. And then you can attach um, the more of the sword bits. You can take like this, and you can attach it in here, attach it out here have him holding it. He looks kind of like the Creon, to be honest with you. And that's about it. So, um, and this does separate, but it's really on there tightly, and I'm afraid to break the peg, so I'm going to do that off camera later. We'll go on to the next dude. Get that out of the shot, and that's Mr. Rampage here. And boy, does he look nice in his target mode. Let's flip that down. He looks his uh, saber tooth smiling on tiger mode. It's really cool. And these colors, I think these colors work better. The way they have the little red accents, I think that works better than. Hold on, let's, where is the light? The light's up here. There. So you can see that the, there's actual detail there. Um, there's a little bit of some red painting there that's not supposed to be, but otherwise it's pretty okay. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and transform him. So we'll just flip his legs in here, flip his feet out, like so. And this is where you're supposed to rotate it, but it's really, it's really in there tightly, and I'm not sure if it actually is supposed to rotate anymore. So we're just going to leave it as as is, and his feet are on backwards, of course, but that's okay. And let's put this up because otherwise it looks like he has a penis. And then you're going to take these, flip them down, take these and bring them out. And again, ball joints. Awesome. Ugh. Ball joints. Awesome. Ball joints. Awesome. Come on. There we go. Ball drinks, awesome. Oh. And then we will just turn his head around because that's pretty much it. And yeah, he looks a little goofy still. But hey, he's a knockoff. He looks like a knockoff. And again, there's these pegs in his hand so he can hold things. And he's got ball jointed arms. And he kind of looks like a beefy Creon. I'm not going to lie. He stands okay, actually, to be honest with you. Um. So yeah, we're done with him. Oh, uh, articulation. Legs do rotate like that. He, they kick forward because they would actually go backwards, but, you know. And that's about it. Head rotates. Waist should rotate, but again, I'm probably going to have to take them apart to see if they're molded that way. If they're just molded to look like they're supposed to, to do something or if they actually do do something. And we're going to go with the last guy. And I love that they went and they packaged all the guys with all their weapons on them. Because anyone who knows me knows I hate when uh, you have leftover parts that don't go anywhere. So I like that they even managed to uh, attach Predator King's head to Rampage's crotch. I'm going to take that off, though, because that doesn't need to be there. But Oh! Oh, that's that's inappropriate. Anyway, so here he is. And he has, I think this is about the same articulation as the original Rampage had. So, you know, not very much. But that's cool. Um, oh, the mouths don't open and close. They're molded either open or closed. 
but that's fine. And his head does the thing there, and then this does whatever, and blah, 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 and there's his head unpainted. And here's his um, gun. I love that. You can take it off. And because of the pegs, you can, you can uh, stick other pieces on it if you want to, I think. Nope, not there because that's... Yeah. Never mind. I thought you could, but because of the way the thing is molded, because of that little notch, you can't... If you get rid of the notch, you can add more stuff to it. Which, maybe I will. But um, he's got his little gun, and it does do the transforming thingy. It goes like this, but this doesn't extend, so... Yeah. But that's... Oops. Hey, throw three millimeter clip. But yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And we're going to take him. We're going to fold away his tail because we're going to transform him now. We're going to turn his... What are we going to do? We're going to pull his arms off. That wasn't what was supposed to happen. Pull his arms out. Not off. And they're not in... These, weren't, these aren't pegged in right, so... Um, yeah, so then we're going to take these feet put them in put the legs in and we're going to flip this out flip this out flip these down or is it up I think it's down rotate this head like so and then bring it down and then flip this up and there's his head and his arms are a little stumpy but they're on ball joints so you can do stuff like that and again, legs are backwards because even though it looks like his body should turn, oops, it doesn't look like it wants to. So uh, I'll take a screwdriver to it later and see if I can figure out what's going on. Um, articulation, same as the G1, basically, only, you know, obviously backwards because his legs don't want to bend. And uh, that's pretty much it. And then you can just give him the weapon. You could put it here, or you can put it inside as a peg on the inside, which would be actually that's pretty good for, you know, holding again, holding the sword of omens. Give me sight beyond sight. So yeah. So um, let's go ahead and get him into body mode. So we're gonna flip this over like so. Flip his leg back up. Flip over like so. Flip that little leg back up. Um, we're going to put these in. And I would tab, tab, tab them in more, but I'm afraid if I do, I'll, I'll never get them out. And um, take the pred head and put it on. And let's uh, dim the light just a little bit so you can get a, a good idea. It's silver and yellow. Pretty good. Not very good for the blinding light that I'm using, but it's pretty good. And then we'll put this off to the side, and I believe these would go on, normally would have gone on here, except that um, there's no way to really do that. So we're just going to leave that like so. We'll move them over. Next, we'll take this dude, and we'll transform him back into a rhino. Well, mostly into a rhino. We're going to leave his hands not so pegged in, because they were hard to get out. And uh, let's see, the peg is right there. So we'll just flip his head like so. And the, the, the peg is there. And uh, I'm not sure if we're supposed to collapse this. So we'll just leave it up for now. And uh, shoot, does it matter which one do I? Are these the exact same things? Just checking to see if the feet are the exact same way because I screwed up and I did not separate them. Yeah, they look like they're the exact same way. So it doesn't matter which foot you take and you just plug it in. And there's his foot. That's done. Uh, where are you, other dude? There you are. Take this guy. Pretty much the same thing. Just, you know, put it in and not tab it all the way in. I'll flip this down. And, well, we'll leave the leg extended for now. That'll give him more height. And then I don't have to worry about trying to fix the robot mode later. But, yeah, there's that one. And um, 
let's see, I think I've got them reversed, so we're going to switch you over. Because I've never had a Predaking before, so uh, it's very easy for me to get the order mixed up, and I don't really want to do that. I've already, uh, I'm pretty sure I've already made a fool of myself. But I'm just so happy I got these. I really am. I've always wanted a Predaking, a G1 Predaking, and now I've sort of got one. So we'll take him and uh, rotate his arms back up, like we're getting him back into cat mode. Put the plug out. Ouch! Pinch my finger. Flip these around like so, and then flip these back in. And that is basically arm mode. I don't like that his face is sticking out, but there's not much I can do, and I can't... It's not like I can rotate it. So we'll just... Uh, oh, and then we'll take one of these, and we have to wedge it in there. So, uh, this is going to be a little difficult because it doesn't, uh, doesn't have quite the same movement as the original. And that's basically a hand, or it's supposed to be a hand. So, it'll do. It will do, monkeys. And um, then we're going to take the last guy. And this is the scary part because I haven't actually managed to separate this, not that part, this part right here. It's on two pegs and uh, I don't want to break the pegs. Did I break the peg? Oh, it's on one peg. Oh, good, I didn't break the peg, thank God. Whew. And uh, we'll just do this. This gets folded up. This gets folded like so. These are down like that. And where's the other hand? There's the other hand. Let's take this hand. I, my hand, I, I, I have this loosely, loosely a hand. Uh, there we go. That goes like that. This gun goes like so. And we flip it around and do this. And then we extend. Oh, no, I guess we don't. He needs some extends. <laughs> and uh, we flip out. Uh, we flip out the connector peg. There we go. And now we're ready to assemble. So take our dudes, who are the feet. Who actually should be down more. Oh, that was scary. Sorry about that, guys. Ran out of memory on my phone, so I'm using the card, and I gotta hurry it up. But yeah, so we've got the guys like so. We'll take Rampage and, I mean, Razor Claw, and we'll plug them into these holes up here. Uh, doesn't want to go in. Let's see. Uh, very hard to do. Praying, putting a lot of pressure that I really don't want to do on here. And uh, do it again. There we go. All right, so we've got the legs done. Let's pull this back just a little bit. Wiggle it just a little bit. And then we're going to take this dude and plug him in over here. Oops. This dude and plug him in. Everything is tight, too. I am... There we go. And uh, this guy goes over here. So already you can see... I, because I don't have his arms in the way they're supposed to, it's a little floppy. But that's fine. Alrighty. So, and then this guy goes like that. So, his head is supposed to go down, but it doesn't really. So, we'll just leave it as so. And then we're just going to rotate him to the back. And see that peg hole there? That's where this gets pegged into. Hey, there's a peg hole in the back of the head. You can just peg it to the back of uh, his head. Ha, ha, ha. 
Okay, let's move the wings back a little bit. By a little bit, I guess I mean a lot of bit. Okay, so we've got the wings on. And that's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much uh, Mr. Prediking. And, um... There we go. There we kind of went. That's good enough. And there we have him in his bot mode. And he looks okay. And then there's these things which originally were supposed to fit over here to extend those up, but because of the way they molded it, it doesn't work. So we're just going to stick them back over here. Let's take the wings off first. Put them back on the wings like so, and this way it'll give it the illusion that his shoulder thingies are taller, which is what that whole thing was about. And uh, let's plug this back in as best as we can. It's a little more difficult now. I have to tilt his wings backwards even more. And then... There we go. And now his wings don't want to stay on because of the... We'll just put them on the outside of the wings, actually. That'll make more sense. There we go. And Party King's falling. Catch me, I'm falling. Da, 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 da. Sorry. Okay. There we go. Straighten them out. Or something. Now let's try plugging it back in. You know, for a kale, this is not bad at all. This is really not. I've had worse. It doesn't. It's a little loose, I'm not going to lie. But, there we go. There's Predi King in his, you know, Predi King form. And take the sword. And after you pick everything back up, you take the sword and you plug it into... There's a peg there, you can plug it into the peg or you can put it in, plug the pegs into one of the... We'll just plug it into the peg in the hand. There. And it actually looks really nice. And this is what I kind of, I'm going to have to, the peg hole is a little too broad on his back. I'm going to have to uh, put like a layer of, oh, no, not a, on the, I don't know, I'll have to figure it out. But for the most part, that looks pretty nice. That looks pretty good, especially for a knockoff. A knockoff that cost me, it, it cost me 30 bucks shipped. 30 bucks for for this figure and it's it's a nice quality it, the plastic feels as, at least as good as this one right here and you can see he's uh, about the same size as a Voyager figure all the people who's who are running out of space and you don't want to get a big Predaking because of that reason you can get this repainted and there you go you've got your Predaking and um, that's pretty much it there's nothing more I can say about this figure I'm happy I got the figure um, I'm happier I got this figure, but I'm happy I got this figure as well. And it will hold me until I get the actual G1 version, which is going to look amazingly huge, considering that there is a leg right there. And he's almost as tall as the whole robot, but it's just awesome. Anyway, I'm Islip, and uh, yeah, I think you should get it. <laughs> Quick update. I found out that um, while these don't rotate, they do extend. If you extend these parts and these parts, then you get a mini Predator King that's actually taller than the Voyager. And, surprise, surprise, if you extend. Hold on one second. If you extend them at the Razor Claw's torso, which does kind of look a little silly. But if you do that, then you've got yourself now a leader-sized figure. So, just thought I'd, I'd point that out. And, though I'll probably just have them displayed like that. 
So now to answer the question, you can't get these guys to rotate here because they're molded uh, in a square fashion that slides up into, yeah, slides up that way. So you'd have to open this and flip it around. So I might get another set just so I can have Predacons with the legs the proper way. This one's fine. And, uh, yeah. So, just thought I'd, uh, do that.